How are you as an artist yourself uh, living through this moment right now? Um, wow. <laughs> I think it's been the hardest moment in my career. And not just because of the situation, because it's hard for everybody, I guess. Because of my way of thinking and my way of, of and my personality. I'm a person that I've been always like so organized, like, you know? So I, I, I plan everything. I start January and I have my calendar like, okay, I have a show here. I have rehearsal on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. I have uh, two travels every month here, 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 here. I have this festival, I have this battle, I have this workshop. And when you see all your plans like out, like suddenly, and you can plan everything, for me, it's been like, um, personal uh, hard work, you know, to, to change my mind and to learn, okay, maybe it's not just everything about plan your life. Maybe you need to, to just flow and see what happens. <laughs> and this is, this is for me the thing that I've learned this year. So uh, in my artistic career with this situation, now I'm on that. I'm really flowing because you can't plan anything. Maybe you are uh, doing rehearsal for a performance uh, during two months, and suddenly the day that you need to, 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 to perform, they say lockdown and you can't perform. So <laughs> you need to find other way. How do you stand towards this trend of everything now being online, so many artists just put their shows online, mm. watch? Um, everything has uh, uh, like a good, good thing and bad thing inside it. For me, the good thing is that um, we can contact more people, we can arrive to more people, we can meet more people. For example, in the, during the lockdown, I dance with people from India. I dance with people from Latin America. And there's something that maybe if, if it wasn't online, it, it, it wouldn't happen. So this is good for me. And I also teach a lot online. I learned the way to teach online and to be an online student also. And this is really easy because I can say, okay, I like this teacher in, and he is in France or he is in, or she is in Norway. Okay, you can just put your computer on and you are there. But also I think that it's important to don't forget that we need the human contact. Mm. For me as a dancer, there's nothing like a, like a live audience. When you finish a show and the, and the audience are there, the energy, the feelings that you have there, it's something that you can't have online. So I really want to, this to come back soon. <laughs> Welcome to Cap Tel Aviv, where we feature new artists every Friday and new artist interviews every Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any future content. If you enjoy the work that we're doing here, I encourage you to become a Patreon of Cap Tel Aviv to support the work that is going on here. Plus, securing additional Patreon-only content for yourself. Did you know that we offer our own courses as well? Head over to our website on captelavi.com and check out all the tools and resources we have available for you over there.